Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Listening and Learning. Hope all are fine. Kindly watch the video and subscribe the channel. Let's go to today's video. Moral story Being honest. Let's go to the story. The school closed on a weekend and my friends and I all boarded the bus to go home. Suddenly, I remembered that I had left my snack box in the desk. My mom is going to ask me about it. I said, you could go to the lost and found room on Monday and if you are lucky, you will find it there, said Alan, my classmate. So, when we returned to school after the weekend, I decided to go to the lost and found room during break time. Soon it was break time and I set off to find my lost snack box. As we entered the room, I saw that there were cartons full of snack boxes, water bottles and sweaters. Hello, said the lady in charge there. How may I help you? I need to find my snack box, I said. What color is it? asked the lady. They were in all kinds and shades of colors. Blue. Let me look. If it's here, you will get it, said the lady. She started digging into the large carton containing hundreds of colorful boxes. There were different shades of blue and some looked very nice, big and bright. Is this one yours? asked the lady, holding out one big dark blue box. No, I said. Then this one? she asked. No, I said. There was a small square light blue box. Next, she pulled out a double-decker electric blue box. It was so smart. Two boxes in one and the amazing color. It looked the best. What if I got this one? Here no one will know and I could make up a story to tell at home. Yes, that one is mine. I lied. Well, then you take it and look after your belongings. They are your responsibility, said the lady handing over the smart looking snack box to me. In the class, I hid the box in my bag and tried to pretend as if nothing had happened. Did you find your box? asked Alan when he saw me putting away the box hurriedly into the bag. Yes, I said. But as I said that, I felt a flush of heat on my face. Alan had trusted my words. Why was I feeling so wrong? Nobody knew of the wrong act I had done except me. I would have to tell mom some story about exchanging boxes with a friend. Sami, can you hear me? The teacher was calling out to me but I was so engrossed in my thoughts that I did not hear her. Sorry, ma'am, I was not listening. You don't seem to be in the class. What are you thinking about? She almost caught me thinking of the wrong I had done. After the class, the dishonest act was becoming more and more a problem and I could not concentrate at all. The voice from inside me, my conscience, kept calling out. It's not the right thing to do. You should not have taken that box. Alan, I have something to tell you. I said as we sat in the bus to go home. I have taken a snack box that does not belong to me. It is so smart looking that I got tempted and lied about it being mine. Show me the box, said Alan. Wow, it is a nice box. But if it is not yours, then you should return it. Immediately, I felt relieved. The inner voice was now saying, Good, now I won't have to lie at home 
and alan is still my friend because i listen to him i will return the box as soon as we return to school tomorrow i said this incident really showed me how painful it is to do something dishonest and that i can be relieved of the pain and guilt only when i own up my guilt honestly the moral of the story is honesty lets you become a happy person whereas dishonesty makes you feel guilty hope all you like this story thanks for watching stay tuned for next video don't forget to subscribe the channel bye bye